Hello and welcome to my channel for Wait What's Is Truth. Remember to like and subscribe and to comment down below as usual. Now, I'd just like to say something and it's this. I love my parents. My mum is 75, my dad is 74. Uh, I don't know what I would have done without them. Now, this is no big deal in the sense that most people do love their parents unless they have fell out of them. Some people don't have any parents for various reasons. Some people have had uh, a stepmom and stepdad, for example. So my heart goes out to those people. But yeah, in my case, like most people, I've had regular biological parents. And thank God they are still, that they are still alive because I don't know what I would have done without them. I've lived on my own all of my life, so me seeing them has been my lifeline. Now, as I was walking along with my mum early on, she was so slow, looked so weak, she could hardly stand up, literally about to faint. Obviously, she's not that bad every single day, but it just drove home, home to me this, that she won't be around forever. She has osteoarthritis irritable bowel syndrome which is slightly embarrassing but I thought I'd mention that anyway I like to get real um and she has this fast heartbeat as well which comes and goes um my dad isn't too bad he's got type 2 diabetes but he's physically stronger and fitter than my mum but you know there's not too much wrong with him physically he's got a little tiny little bit of arthritis but but nothing like what my mum has She's got proper osteoarthritis, where she can literally just walk for a few steps, really, in real terms. She's better on, on a flat surface rather than uphill. Uphill, she's more or less hopeless. Uh, but in any case, she walks for a few steps, then she has to rest. Okay, and that has been my routine with her for, for the past good few years. I think for the past, like, 10 years or so, at least, maybe over 10 years. Well, I'm 37 now. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's been from my um, late 20s to now. Yeah, yeah. From my late 20s to now, she's been quite slow. And I had no choice but to walk alongside of her um, slowly and wait for her. And that's it. You know, I go shopping with her. I go banking with her. I help her out as and when I can, although she likes to stay as independent as she can. But I am more or less her part-time carer in the sense that do you know those people that you see in supermarkets who help little old ladies out go shopping and stuff like that that is more or less what I'm doing okay although she has helped me an awful lot too so it goes both ways right and that's the truth and I just want to thank God right now so so much for my parents because yeah I've always lived on my own I mean I had a little six-month relationship at the age of 34 where we just saw each other on the Saturday. But aside from that, I've always been single. So all the more reason why. Uh, you know, I mean, I've had practically no friends all my life too. So all the more reason why I'm so thankful for my parents. If they weren't around, then maybe I wouldn't be. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, there have been days when I wished I wasn't here anymore. Uh so yeah, I mean, I don't mean to sound too morbid, but it's just the truth. I haven't had a happy life. I haven't, every day I felt unhappy for many, many years. And it's just the way it is. It's no one's fault. It's no one's responsibility. We are all responsible for our own happiness. I am trying to do something to help myself now by doing volunteering where I live locally to me in Arnold so that I'm mixing a little bit more than I used to. So I'm going from not mixing at all to mixing a little bit, okay? So it's not a life-changing thing, but small things lead to big things. You know how it goes. We have to help ourselves in this life. Uh, God does help those who help themselves up to a point. And he certainly does not want us to rely on him as a crutch. But anyway, back to my parents. Never take your parents for granted. You probably don't. You probably love your parents and get on with them. Well, I hope and pray that you do anyway, because we're not always fortunate enough to have parents that we like a lot of the time we have parents that have let us down that have done terrible things to us sometimes my heart goes out to you if you're one of those people if you've been let down by your parents but in my case I haven't really been let down by my parents okay uh, I remember my dad um, 
after he got divorced from my mum, when I think I must have been about 10 years old, right? I think I was 10 or 11 when they got divorced, right? And, yeah, he was depressed and lonely for years. It wasn't until his late 50s that he managed to find somebody else, by the way. So he went for a long, long time being single and lonely. But throughout that whole thing, he always put me first, my dad did. Always, always put me first. You know, he, he was put in humiliating situations, trying to find digs, trying to find a place for me and him to live. We found ourselves in a hostel once. Like I said, he had to humiliate himself, but be a dad to me. He, he took me fishing, took me to Skegness on holiday, right? You know, he tried his best to be a good dad, and he was a good dad. He had the occasional mood swings. I could tell he was depressed sometimes, but he never really took it out on me as such. Occasionally, very odd times, he sort of lost his rag, lost his temper, but that's normal. He was under pressure. Okay, he had financial problems and all sorts, right? And we went from one place to another. Um, so I've got nothing but respect for my dad. You know, he's always put other people first. He was never, ever a selfish character. Ne never, ever like that, yeah? Um, do you know, he said something to me once, years and years ago, and I still remember it. I mean, he came out, he, he, he comes out of all sorts of wise sayings he always has had. Uh, a lot of those sayings are from Italy, like, not everything that glitters is gold, right? As if to say, when you look at some families and some couples and some people, uh, things aren't always as good as you think they are in those people's lives, because we just see what they want us to see sometimes. That's an old Italian saying. Uh, and, and, and there's another one that uh, no one tells you that there's dirt on your face unless they care about you, as if to say, they're not going to point out that you're in a bad state unless they love you and care about you. So you may be annoyed at them for pointing out your faults and flaws and the state you're in because of your behaviour or whatever the situation or circumstances are, but they love you because if they didn't love you, then they wouldn't have pointed that out. Nobody tells you there's dirt on your face unless they love you. That's an old Italian saying that is. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, my dad told me something else as well, in fact, and it's this. On the Italian side of my family, we tend to be a bit too serious, a bit too sort of, we need to lighten up a bit. That's been our, like, main thing. Most Italians are sort of quite jovial and happy-go-lucky and all the rest of it. I probably do sound relatively okay most of the time, you know, but, uh, but I make an effort to be like that. Uh, the Italian side of my family is the slightly on the melancholy, serious side. I mean, there are supposed to be four different kind of personality types, right? I think I fall into the melancholy one, if there's such a thing as four different personality types. I've never been a psychologist. I don't know the ins and outs of all that stuff. But yeah, uh, I am more serious than Jovel. I am more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I need to push myself to mix and talk to people. I am a natural born loner. I do enjoy my own company, but uh, at the same time feel lonely, which is a bit of an oxymoron. Is that the right word? It's a bit of a contradiction. That's the word I was looking for. It's a contradiction in terms, isn't it? You're a loner who likes your own company. You prefer your own company, but at the same time you feel lonely. That don't make sense, but it, that's how I am. Anyway, that's enough about all that stuff. But yeah, um, so pray for my parents. And let's take the time to appreciate our parents for being there for us, okay? Like I said earlier on, um, I don't know where I, I would be without my parents, right? Uh, I'm just so, so thankful for them. I really don't know where I'd be around. I really don't, because without them, without their care and support, I don't know what would have happened to me, okay? Um, I do worry about the future. Now, now being worried and being stressed and, and being depressed is something that Satan wants us to do. God does not want us to worry. Jesus Christ himself says, do not worry. Who can add one howler to one's life by being worried? Nobody can. 
but nonetheless, I do worry about my parents dying. And it's one of the most common things there is. My parents are not going to be alive forever. Right, and because I've always lived on my own and I find it impossible to imagine how I could find a woman who is suitable for me because I'm not like the typical everyday average guy, to say the least. Um, yeah, I mean, all these thoughts are going around my head. I'm thinking, what do I have to look forward to? Middle age, grey hairs, my cat dying, my parents dying, you know, all this stuff is stressing me the heck out on top of my day-to-day -day struggles and everything. And it just feels like no one cares, no one knows, everyone's too busy doing their own thing. No one wants to know about an old uh, misery guts like me who's got problems coming out of his ears. Uh, but, but there you go, that's just how it is, that's life. There's nothing else I've got to say. Just love your parents and make the most of them whilst they are still alive. Never take them for granted. And if you have fell out with them, then Obviously, this is a very personal thing. I've got no right to tell you what to do, but try your best to make amends. Try to forgive them. Sometimes we have to draw on God to love, to forgive our parents and to uh, make peace of them before they pass on. Uh, some people by my age, I'm 37, they have parents that are younger than mine, obviously. Mine are in their mid-70s. So, yeah, when I saw my mum earlier on today, I thought to myself, I've got to do a video about this. This is crazy. Uh, she was really in a pitiful state. She could hardly stand up. Yeah. So anyway, pray for me. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.